Hi everyone, Zach here, and welcome to the first lesson in this series. This video is for those of you completely new to programming and who do not have an integrated development environment, otherwise known as an IDE. If you have an IDE for C++ already, please skip this video. This video is for PC users primarily, so if you're on a Mac or Linux system, just listen to the next few minutes of this video. However, Apple users, I have left instructions below for how to get an IDE that supports C++ and links for various other approaches. As of Visual Studio 2017, C++ was not supported for Mac users. I cannot find any information on this matter with regards to Visual Studio 2019. And, for our Linux users out there, you should already have a GNU compiler like GCC on your system. If not, I have left a link in the description for you. So, what is an IDE? An IDE is a software package which includes a source code editor, build tools, and a debugger. This means you can write your code, compile your code, and test your code. You could technically write your C++ code in Notepad and use an external compiler to compile your code. You could even find debugging packages out there to then debug this code. However, an IDE gives you all three, at the very least, in one. Begin. Open a browser of your choice. First, go to visualstudio.microsoft.com or click the link in the description. Now, if you're on an older computer or have limited resources, you might want to consider using Visual Studio Code, for which I have a link in the description detailing the steps you need to go through in order to write, compile, and debug C++ code. For everyone else, go ahead and click Download Visual Studio Community 2019. This is the free version of the software. It will take you to a new page where the download should automatically begin. Once the download is done, go ahead and click the installer. Click continue or read through the privacy statement and the license terms, then click continue. Once the installer is done downloading, this may take some time, so pause your video if you need to, click run. Once it's opened, start the install process for Visual Studio 2019. You'll get a window like this one. Now, you don't need to have everything I have selected selected, as I use Visual Studio for work-based projects and therefore I will have extra items selected. You need to select Desktop Development with C++ and Universal Windows Platform Development. Select those and click Install or Modify. The space, the size it says down here isn't actually accurate. Once that is done, your setup is completed. You may need to restart your system to complete the install process. That said, thank you for watching this lesson and thank you to my supporters on Patreon. If you want to help this channel grow, please, please hit that like button below. It really does help the channel. Also, hit the subscribe and notify icon so you know when the next video is out. In addition, Consider becoming a supporter on Patreon. Finally, I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson, and I hope that you have a wonderful day.